Hello and thank you for returning to the channel. Dressing up to create a cozy cabin feel with wood paneling. Shown here, the owner chose pine for the walls because it's grayish and doesn't get too red. In theory, you'd use a water-based sealer on it, on it so it doesn't turn color when the sun hits it. To the right, the pine paneled walls get a hint of color from a vintage desk used as a breakfast table and painted chairs from the 1920s. Amid the folk art, farm signs, and schoolhouse style maps are three bird pieces, Neil Point that the owner found at a junk shop and had framed. Here's the how-to. How Since ripping off drywall was not an option, the owner instead found at Home Depot 5 sixteenths thin and 8 feet long Hackwood Knotty Pine Edge V Plank Kit, $66 per 3-pack. Using liquid nails and a nail gun, panels were then affixed to the ceiling. They opted for thicker 6-inch wide planks, pattern stock, cedar tongue and groove, for $146 per 6-pack. Minimum seams, make sure to nail them securely to the ceiling joists. Cost $4,000 for all but two small rooms in this 1,000 square foot interior. Shown left in the entry, tucked behind the outerwear is a coat rack fashioned from a piece of leftover ceiling material and brass hooks. The mirrors are crafted from vintage frames. The welcoming door color is Benjamin Moore's Chartreuse. And to the right, banquet in the dining nook is made out of finished plywood that had tapped with custom cushions upholstered by Pendleton Sombrello fabric. Thank you for visiting. Please like, share, and comment. And if you feel these little do-it-yourselves videos are valuable, and have your own ideas, send them to me and I'll put together a video with more instructions. Thank you, look forward to seeing you real soon.